Check this out. Toaster oven unboxing. You saw it earlier tested, so it's not gonna be as exciting, but hey, unboxing is an unboxing. So let's go ahead and document the moment. Okay, how do I do this with one hand? I, I can't. Hold on, I'm just gonna have to pull it out and show you what it looks like. Okay, here it is. Oh, hold on. Okay, here it is, the toaster oven. After the one that Michael B's uh, died, I think after two years. This is how usually appliances go here in the Philippines, especially in this type of this type of appliances. About two, if you can get two to five years, that's great. If you get two years, they, that's that's just how the perpetual they get you to be spending. So I, I had nothing to do with picking this. The boss actually picked this. There was I asked her if there was a, was there a display, and she said no. It was just the box. So check this out. It must have been the rotisserie chicken inside the box that got her all excited and said, "Oh, I gotta have. We gotta have this as a replacer. Replacer in this sort of. It's got a toast, which we do a lot for when we eat bread. We always toast it because it just it just tastes better when bread is warm. I mean, I." enough said i don't really it's it's in latin that would be res ipsi locator it speaks for itself who doesn't like toasted bread it just makes it taste better it's warmer it just changes the texture just like ice cream when it's frozen it tastes much better that when it versus when it's melted it's like pretty disgusting the texture if it's not frozen so back to this i i like it because as you can see it's it's huge so you can stick a whole turkey in there and cook it with no problem. So here's the controls. Like an oven, you could, you could set what uh, temperature that you want. It goes all the way up to 230 degrees, it looks like. 230. Then over here, I have no idea. Oh, the, the heating element. Do you want the heating element to be on top or just the bottom or both sides or... What is this on the side only? I don't get it. What is that supposed to mean? Hmm. I have to look at the instruction book. Maybe somebody will know. Like the top is heating. Oh, maybe it's rotating. It's rotating one way, rotating the other way. Or the bottom is rotating, top. So the rotating element. And then I think this is the timer. Yeah, here you go. There, timer. So, you got your heating elements down here. You get your heating elements up there. And then you got your rotisserie spinning mechanism over here. That's not bad. So that's what it's for. If you want to rotate it, we're cooking on top. We're cooking the bottom. Ah, schmancy, schmancy. By Kiowa. I've never heard of Kiowa, but we'll try it out. If it lasts five years, it paid for itself. So who needs to buy, go out and buy rotisserie chicken when you can make it at home with a Kiowa toaster oven? So let's look at the accessories. Accessories time. This is this is going to be pretty exciting. What kind of freebies do you get with your Kiowa? So sometimes this makes or breaks it. Oh look, this. This is something to, I guess, secure the, secure the, the turkey or the chicken with. I have to study that. I don't know what that is, but I'll figure it out. Then this bubble wrap. Oh, so satisfying. So good. Bubble wrap. Yeah. Anyway, back to the accessories. Now that we got the bubble wrap out of the way, we got this tray system over here. And I think this is the spinner. Insert joke here for 
the thing that spins the, the stick that spins the the turkey or the chicken or the pork or whatever meat that you put on there. I'll put that aside. And here's the rack. Kind of stick the rack in there. Boom. And then here's the thing with the handle in it that you use to kind of stick a fork in it. I don't know. You you use this. It's got a handle, so it's going somewhere. And here's the tray where I assume, okay, here's your instruction book, instruction manual. Let's see what it says, how to use, that, that's it? Clean and care, it doesn't really show you how to, but let me, I'll, I'll plug it in and it will demonstrate how the rotisserie thing works. Let's do that, let's do that. Yeah, I think this is something to catch the, the grease runoff. So if you're cooking something and it's going to be dripping, I think this is, this is probably, you can't remove this, so you're going to have to stick this, stick this in there, like that, I see, you can put it in the bottom like that, like that, so there's the heating element, will heat up there, so I would pick the top, so I would pick this one right here, this setting, if I'm gonna rotisserie it, this setting right here, where the top is heating and this thing is spinning and this, because this thing in the bottom will cover the uh, heating element. But, I mean, you could, it, it could still heat it through the, through the pan. That's a possibility. And then, or then you could stick the, the chicken or the turkey or the, the ham hock right on top of that if you want and then this I'm sure somebody in the comments will explain me how this thing is used anyway and then there's this these things so Hold on, let me, I'm gonna have to use both hands to see how this works. Here we go, I got it plugged in right there. And here it is in action. So what we gotta do is, let's say, we gotta set it on for a tent for, for a few minutes over here. You got the little indicator light over here saying it's ready to rock and roll. And I have it over here where it's supposed to get hot, the setting where it's supposed to get hot on top and spinning. So, Let's see if we can, if we look, yes, there it is. Check it out. You see how it's slowly spinning? Sorry if the light is terrible, but as you can see, the, the claws are spinning also. So, uh, I don't know if you can appreciate that, but that part, that's toasty up there. It's nice and hot, but, oh, I can see. It's still spinning. Normally, if this thing is on, if this thing is open, it would, it would disengage. But as you could see, it's still. Oh, it stopped spinning. Yeah. Okay. So it stopped spinning. All right. So if you open the, open the cover, it'll stop spinning. But if you close it, I guess it must be safety feature. Oh, the thing closed. Oh, the timer went out. There we go. Here we set it for 10 minutes. It stopped because the timer stopped. So as you can see, it's still spinning. And the bar on top is getting hot. The bar on the bottom is not getting hot, if you look at it. The heating element's not getting hot, but the one on top is nice and red. Check it out. And it's hot. I can feel it boiling, burning my face here. But as you can see, it's rotisserie rotating. So, what do I do with the handle? So let's get the handle over here. So, you can remove this. 
like that, so it'll really spin. Come on, don't fight me. Like that. Let's put it over here. So that's how the chicken will be cooking in there. And you got this tray to collect the grease. And it works perfectly. Look at that. What a great deal for cooking rotisserie chicken here in the Philippines for like 60 something dollars. 60, 70 something dollars. So that's my review of the toaster, Kiowa toaster oven here in the Philippines. It's big, it can fit a whole chicken. I don't know if it's like a really big turkey, but maybe a medium sized turkey could fit in there. You could have rotisserie chicken, turkey, pork, lamb, beef here in the Philippines. So, so far so good. I'll let you know what it's going to look like, uh, what our experience with it over, year, over the years. But for now, I'm pretty happy with it. It pretty much delivered or it's pretty user friendly and you know, everything so far is done. Everything I asked it to do or expected it to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this review, give it a like, give it a comment, please subscribe, and thanks for watching. This is Bebba Tony. Okay, thanks to the pandemic, we are doing mostly drive through So we are getting Chow King. We like the Chow King. And every once in a while, we're in the mood for Chinese food. So fast Chinese food here in the Philippines is available for a drive through So that's what we're gonna have for lunch and dinner today. So we bought about 2,000 pesos worth of all right, here we go. We are having leftover chicken from Chow King that we got earlier today. And go ahead, keep going. So we've got hungry kids that are gonna eat, they're eating us out of house and home. So that's why we have all this chicken. Now we're gonna reheat it instead of reheating it in a microwave oven. We're gonna heat it in a toaster oven. So it's gonna be delicious and juicy and crunchy again like when it was first fried so i got my handy dandy handle over here so always use the handle so even this handle even works for this tray and you stick it in here on the third level like so and then what we're going to do is we're going to put it on both the top and the bottom we don't need the spinning the, where the top and the bottom heating elements, this one and this one, will heat up. Like so. And probably set it for, yeah, that's good, 190 degrees. And probably for 10 minutes. And you're going to have crispy, delicious chicken again for dinner. You can, it, it'll go on even if the oven is... Oh yeah. So we'll check back in 10 minutes and see how golden brown they are. So that's having leftover fried chicken here in the Philippines. And it's going to be crispy and juicy again thanks to this new toaster oven that we didn't have before. Check it out. The magic bell just rang after 10 minutes. So we're going to use our handy dandy handle over here. To open and look how delicious golden brown it looks then we won't stick our hand in there because I'm gonna end up burning it and look how nice that chicken is nice and crispy so we'll use this handy dandy handle over here to get it out like so no there's there's like a mat right there so I'll put it right there like that close it up and that concludes our first use of the Kiowa toaster oven using the handy dandel and crispy fried chicken. So dinner is served. Bon appetit. So that concludes our video. This is Tony. Thanks for watching. Ah yes, leftover chicken never tasted good. It was crispy, it was juicy, just like it was how it was intended, how you were intended to eat it. And you can't get that from microwaving it. So toaster toaster oven did its job. So we're very happy with it. We gladly recommend it. So those are the results. So thank you everyone for watching. And this should conclude our video. Here's the update on the chicken. It's been 10 minutes.
So far, so good. Okay, everyone, the chicken is done. One hour. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the temperature on the inside. If it's 180, then it's good to go. Let's take a look. Let's take a stab at it. So let's get to the deep part of the chicken here. Watch this thing, watch this baby go. Whee! And keep going, keep going. One seventy. Stop at one seventy. Hold on, I back this thing up. This is causing it to fog up. Yeah, it's not bad. About one seventy five. So for yeah, about almost one seventy five in the inside for a beef. And pork, it's about 170, and for chicken, 180. So it works. It's we were just off by five degrees. Maybe cook it just a little bit longer. Maybe let's stab at another part of the chicken. Let's try the breast. There. It's definitely 180. Past 180. Okay, so we just I just stabbed it at the right inside the breast as you can see. I don't know if you can appreciate that. Stab it right in there. Get it all nice and hot. Okay, so mission accomplished. One hour, 180 in the chicken breast. Okay, so we got rotisserie chicken. Alright, that concludes our demonstration for rotisserie chicken here in the Philippines. This is what we're having for lunch. Maybe we have time for another one. It's what time is it? Let's see what time it is. Here, I'll I'll show you what time it is. So it's 10:30 in the morning here, according to our clock. I love this clock. I like the wood around it. I actually got this at Costco, and I saw it, and I said, "Oh, I gotta have this clock." So 10:35. That's what time it is. Here. Okay, I just cracked it open and check that out. It's fully cooked inside. So one hour is perfect for a cooked, fully cooked chicken. And it tastes good. Here we go, roasting chicken number two. I repeat, roasting chicken number two. Sorry, it's got, got that smoky flavor because I got some of the grease on the heating element but it burned it off okay that's what we're having for lunch today okay here's two rotisserie chickens here we need at least two because when you got hungry kids they'll eat you out of house and home yeah, we're gonna need two chickens. One chicken's not enough. Especially Hero, he's a growing boy. Okay, here's the delivery truck delivering the fridge. He said after 13 years of loyal service, our GD yeah. finally gave out. We were now it's here. Okay, I'm gonna help them. Inst install it and bring it up so
Uy, 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 uy. Patay niya, patay, patay. Nang. 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 There's the fridge. Signed, sealed, and delivered. So they said five hours until we can plug it in. Okay, we'll do that. So that's what it's like buying a fridge here in the Philippines and getting it delivered from Anson's. So we just have to wait five hours. And he says because it's been de the delivery and it's been shaken around. So. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, well that's it. Take us take a picture. Okay, true believers, we finally got a chance to go outside, and this is Hero practicing his penalty kicks for the first time in ten months. He's, as you can see, he's been out of shape. He's done online training, but that's just that's just doing nothing except maybe calisthenics so we finally got a chance to kick the ball around and get the cobwebs out and my body's aching pretty bad from just like an hour or two hours of exercise so we just want to let everybody know that we're slowly trying to get back into the swing of things so I'm gonna so the next three to six months when the pandemic is over we're going to try to get Hero into in, into football shape again but this is what we're up to after we got the refrigerator today we went out to the field finally and, and shoot some soccer balls here that's what we're up to Rockets, rocket a few. Take your time. Well, good enough for, I mean, nobody else is practicing now. Nobody else is playing. So we're not going to overdo it. But it's just good to be back and practicing with our hero again after almost three years.